Right now, we're looking at pictures out of Central Europe. The search continuing on the Danube for about 20 people missing still after a boat accident in the capital of Hungary, Budapest. Officials have confirmed the deaths of at least seven tourists from South Korea. Their pleasure boat reportedly struck by another vessel. So as we look at those pictures, let's bring in Thomas Dagg from our London Bureau. He's been watching developments as they're covered over in Europe. As I said, Thomas, it seems some sort of collision, a late night pleasure cruise. What do we know about what has happened on the Danube? Yeah, this is a river that is famous and popular with tourists, including uh, Canadians who want to see the sights there. So uh, last night, this double-decker boat known as the Mermaid was carrying more than 30 South Korean tourists and a local crew. It was uh, moored near the Hungarian parliament, uh, and uh, what apparently happened is this other vessel hit the mermaid, causing it to capsize and eventually sink. Uh, search and rescue operations have been going all night using divers and radar and spotlights, and the operation continues today uh, in the daylight. The hope is fading, though, for those who are still missing. The rescue effort has been hampered by torrential rain and strong current there on the Danube. Uh, some of the passengers are believed to have been swept away, perhaps several kilometers downriver, uh, police have uh, begun an investigation that they're describing as a criminal investigation to try to figure out what uh, happened, if, uh, if anyone's at fault here, Heather. So, Thomas, we're looking there in, in uh, recent footage, but I want to bring in some live pictures right now because there are cameras up. So you can see in these pictures, Thomas, uh, military presence there, as you say, the search ongoing. And you can see, my goodness, just how quickly the waters are moving when you say the concern is they may have been swept far down river. Understandably, when you look at the speed of the Danube there, uh, the government from Seoul, from South Korea, sending, we understand, some specialists to help with these soldiers in their search. What is the response from South Korea? South Korea's uh, President Moon Jae-in uh, speaking overnight, uh, saying that uh, his government is coordinating with the Hungarian authorities, trying to figure out exactly what happened here. And South Korea is sending a team of uh, military specialists as well as uh, rescue, uh, rescue crews uh, to try to help with the uh, effort there in uh, Budapest. Uh, consider that you know, South Korea is halfway around the world from uh, the Danube in, uh, in Hungary. That gives you a sense of the size of this operation and uh, how quickly uh, South Korean authorities want to get to the bottom of this. At least 33 South Korean tourists uh, on this uh, sightseeing boat. Uh, only a few have been rescued and as you say, Heather, uh, the hope is uh, fading for those uh, others as this um, rescue operation continues throughout the day. People lining the banks of the Danube watching this as it plays out. A horrible story, Thomas. Thank you. And we'll track developments with you today from there again as we look live at the people, obviously a media presence, but people watching this uh, most uh, difficult search and a most unfortunate story there in Budapest.